I think for this new beautiful day. Danke dir für diesen neuen schönen Tag. Thank you Father that uh, we are now receiving again a possibility to, to understand the former rain. Wir danken dir, dass wir nun ja ein weiteres bisschen stehen können in diesem Frühregen. And uh, I want to ask you that you please open our eyes and uh, our, our understanding to, uh, to be able to discern between truth and error. And I bitte dich, dass du unsere Augen öffnest und unseren Verstand, dass wir in der Lage sind zu unterscheiden zwischen Wahrheit und Irrtum. You have to put the whole the illustration that is now correct on the lines and uh, understand the spiritual meaning. And bitte hilf uns auch als von all den Illustrationen auf der Linie, dass wir die geistliche Lektion davon lernen. I want to ask you that you please uh, bless my brother Mark, uh, bless my, my brother Mark's uh, sister, trying to present to us. And bitte segne. Mein Bruder Mark, wenn er jetzt um, Wahrheit präsentiert. Bless us as a congregation, bless the people that, uh, that are watching the live stream. Du segne uns als Sammlung und segne auch all die Menschen, die über den Livestream zuschauen. And, yeah, let it be that this class will be a blessing for the whole day. Bitte hilft, dass diese Klasse ein Segen sein mag für den ganzen Tag. In Jesus' name, Amen. In Jesus' name, Amen. Okay, um, if you look at the, the board here, I just want to go through a couple of points. So, just basing this on the, the line of Christ. Okay, so, Christ, when he's born, right? He, he's born literally. Right. And he's under tutors and governors until the time appointed. Okay. And at the time appointed, he's filled with the Holy Spirit, right? Amen. Amen. So, prior th this point here, when he's filled with the Holy Spirit, is a fulfillment of Deuteronomy 18.18. Right. Und wenn er eben hier erfüllt ist mit dem Heiligen Geist, dann ist es eine Erfüllung von 5. Mose 18, Vers 18. Right, just, just quickly go to Deuteronomy 18, 18. Und wir gehen jetzt auch schnell zu 5. Mose 18. Speaking to Moses. Die wird zu Mose gesprochen. It says... I will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren, like unto thee, and will put my words in his mouth, and he shall speak unto them all that I shall command it. So, when do the words get put in your mouth? Also, wann werden die Worte in deinen Mund gelegt? Um, no, no, not in this context. When did Jeremiah... Come when he came out of the belly, right? No, I, I don't, I don't agree. This, this doesn't matter. This is, this is where you're saying, you're going to stand before the king here. D different thought completely. We've gone into things now. The, po the point is, right, here there's a prophet raised up. Prior to this, there's no prophet raised up, right? Also der Punkt ist auf jeden Fall, hier wird ein Prophet eben aufgerichtet und vorher gibt es keine Propheten. Yes? In Isaiah, when he gets his lips touched, this is the latter rain. That's what it says in Isaiah chapter 6, right? Und wenn von Jesaja seine Lippen berührt werden, dann ist es eben der Spätregen. And he says, how long? And he says, until all the cities are destroyed. So basically, till you come down to the seventh plague, right? Und er sagt dann, wie lange? Die Antwort ist dann, bis eben die Städte zerstört werden. Also es kommt dann darauf bis zur siebten Plage. Okay, so the point, the only point I want to make from this is that prior to this point, there's no prophet. Und den Punkt, den ich machen möchte, ist, dass 
Eben vor diesem Punkt gibt es keinen Propheten. Right? Okay. It's a fulfillment of uh, Sam, uh, 1 Samuel chapter 3. There was no open vision in those days. Uh, sorry, the, wo the word was precious in those days. There was no open vision. Right? Und das ist eben eine Erfüllung von 1. Samuel 3, weil dieser Zeit gab es eben keine offene Vision und deswegen war das Wort kostbar. And when you go to Acts chapter 3, wenn wir zur Apostelgeschichte 3 gehen, Verse 19. It says, Repent ye therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. And he shall send Jesus Christ. So, Jesus Christ is sent right here, right? And he was sent when he was filled with the Holy Spirit. Right? Okay. So, prior to this point, Does this repent, be converted, that sins get blotted out, right? Vor diesem Punkt ist also dieses tut Buße, bekehrt euch, damit eure Sünden ausgetilgt werden. Okay, it says, which was before preached unto you, whom the heaven must receive until the times of restitution of all things, which God has spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began. For Moses truly said unto the fathers, a prophet shall the Lord your God raise up unto you of your brethren like unto me, Him shall ye hear in all things, whatsoever he shall say unto you. And it shall come to pass that every soul which will not hear that prophet shall be destroyed from among the people. Okay, and it says, Yea, all the prophets from Samuel, from where? Samuel. From Samuel, and those that follow after as many as have spoken have likewise foretold of these things. This so, when Samuel is being raised up, it's foretelling of the raising up of the prophet, right? Also when Samuel eben aufgerichtet wurde als Prophet, dann ist das, sagt das, also spricht das eben schon von diesem Aufrichten des Propheten in der Zukunft. Right? So when, when Samuel is being raised up in this time period, there's no prophet until he gets to the end, right? Also wenn Samuel aufgerichtet wird, dann gibt es eben diese Zeit keinen Propheten bis zu dieser Zeit. Uh, everybody follow. That's why it says there was no prophet, right? The word was precious, right? So, the tutors and governors to Samuel, although Eli, but it was the, the word of God. There was no prophet in those days, right? Because it says there was no prophet. Right? So, Mark's the point, a prophet is raised up here, And then he's sent, right? Also das hier markiert einen Punkt, wo ein Prophet aufgerichtet wird und er dann gesandt wird. Okay, and just like the line of Christ, first you have John, then you have Christ. Und so wie auch in der Linie von Christus, dann zuerst Johannes und dann Christus. Right, Christ then goes to the, to whom? Christus geht dann zu wem? Why, why we look like, it goes to the church, right? Also er geht zu der Gemeinde. Judgment begins at the house of God, right? Das Gericht beginnt ja am Hause Gottes. So, however, in the, the time period of the church, from temple cleansing to temple cleansing, who's the tutors and governors? Aber in dieser Zeitperiode von der Gemeinde, also von Tempelreinigung bis Tempelreinigung, wer sind da diese Vormünder und Verwalter von der Gemeinde? Ich habe eine Frage. The Christ. Christ is the, Christ is the one now unfolding God's word to them so that they understand it, right? Also Christus offenbart ihnen eben jetzt das Wort, dass sie das verstehen. What was the question? What was the question? Du hast erklärt, dass in der Zeit ist kein Prophet, aber da steht Johannes. Ist das eine andere Linie? Okay, John in this time, because it says Christ was under tutors and governors until the time appointed. Right. Also Christus war ja unter diesen Formen und Verwaltern bis zu bestimmten Zeit. And John was internally preparing for Christ. Und Johannes hat eben 
intern even vorbereitet für Küsse. But th this is this point we're making about these two bosses on a different fractal, right? Und das eben aber auch der Punkt, den wir machen mit diesen zwei Geburten, das ist auf einem anderen Fraktal. So if I if I take this right and I stretch it to here. Also wenn man jetzt das hier nimmt und das hier ausstreckt. Here you would have John. Dann hätte man hier Johannes. And here you would have Christ. Right? Und hier hätte man dann Christus. So it's the same. It's teaching the same illustration on a different level, right? Also es lehrt dieselbe Illustration auf einem anderen Level. Okay, but it 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 is correct that the John is a a prophet here, but not in the same sense as as here. Aber es ist korrekt, dass Johannes schon hier ein Prophet ist, aber nicht in demselben Sinne ebenso wie hier Christus. Um, Yeah, we 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 know, we know this point, but it doesn't negate this point here. That um, how do you? Because Acts chapter three and verse nineteen is a fulfillment of when Christ is baptized. Und Apostelgeschichte 3, Vers 19 ist ja eine Erfüllung von wenn Christus eben getauft wird. Which is Pentecost. Und das ist auch Pfingsten. Okay, so. Uh, it's all I understand is just a smaller fractal. J John and Christ is the two boss on a smaller level. Also, wie ich das eben verstehe, ist, dass das einfach auf einem kleineren Fraktal ist, also Johannes und Christus. So, I don't know what other answer to give you at this point. Also, ich weiß jetzt noch nicht die Antwort, die ich ge geben soll. Okay. We, we already recognized this some time ago, that, that John is raised up in this time period here. Wir haben das schon ein bisschen früher eben gesehen, dass Johannes in dieser Zeit eben aufgerichtet wird. Okay, but um, I'm sure we will get a better answer for that as we as we learn, learn it better, right? Ich bin mir sicher, wir werden eine bessere Antwort noch dazu bekommen. Okay, now the point that I, uh, I want to put this in place for us because uh, I want to go to Matthew 24. And if you go to the notes in the, the live stream. Und wenn wir jetzt auch zu den Notizen gehen. Oder zu den um, Bibeln in Deutschen zu Matthäus 24, Vers 15. But uh, everybody follow just the, 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 the pattern. Konnte auch jeder diesem Muster folgen. Okay. So the only point I want to make is that prophetically speaking, this marks the point that they have a prophet now for the church, right? Also prophetisch gesprochen ist das hier der Punkt, wo sie eben einen Propheten haben für die Gemeinde. Okay. And... Um, Anyway, so go, uh, Matthew 24 and verse 15. Matthäus 24 and verse 15. It says, When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet stand in the holy place, whoso readeth, let him understand. Then let them which be in Judea flee into the mountains. Let them which is on the housetop not come down to take anything out of his house, neither let him which is in the field return back to take his clothes, and woe to them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days. But pray ye that your flight be not in winter, neither on the Sabbath day. Uh, for then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. Right? So, the abomination of desolation, in a perfect sense, is marking the beginning of the seven last plagues. Right? Also Vers 21 haben wir gelesen, und dieses Gräuel der Verwüstung, im perfekten Sinne, das ist eben am um, Anfang von den sieben letzten Plagen. But the sense that I want to look at is also marking the Sunday law, right? Aber wie ich das jetzt eben mit euch anschauen möchte, ist es, dass es im Sonntagsgesetz auch ist. So, when those representing Christ here are going forward, the civil Sunday law, what are you now warning about? Also wenn diese dass eben jetzt Christus darstellen, vorwärts gehen, wenn sie wieder in Sonntagsgesetz. You're given a, a warning about the coming Sunday law, right? Da geben sie eine Warnung für das kommende Sonntagsgesetz. The abomination of desolation. And when they see the abomination of desolation, what are you to do? Und wenn sie eben dann dieses Gräuel der Verwüstung sehen, was müssen sie tun? You to, you to flee, right? Sie müssen fliehen. Okay. Now, anyway, it, it says that, uh, but pray ye that your flight be not in winter, neither on the Sabbath day. 
For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time nor ever shall be. Right? So, um, so as far as I understand it, and I'm still open this, but um, that when it, when you're told to flee, you're to flee before winter or the Sabbath day. Wie ich das eben verstehe, also wenn dir gesagt wird, dass du fliehen musst, dann musst du es vor dem Winter und vor dem Sabbattag machen. Because the Lord's not telling you to flee at this time, right? Denn der Herr sagt dir, du sollst eben nicht fliehen zu dieser Zeit. He says, when when you see the abomination of desolation, you have to flee. Also wenn du das Gräuel der Verwüstung siehst, dann sollst du fliehen. But then he says, right? But pray that your flight be not in winter on the Sabbath day. So he can't now make the point where he tells you to flee the winter or the Sabbath day where you're not to flee. Also und dieser Punkt, wo du eben fliehen sollst, da kann er nicht im, also das kann dann nicht derselbe Punkt sein, so eben dieser Winter und der Sabbattag. Right? So it takes you down to this point here, right? Oh, put it here, where you've got this. Great tribulation, which we know is a symbol for the seven plates, right? Und das bringt dich dann eben zu dieser großen Trübsal, und wir wissen, dass das ein Symbol für die sieben letzten Plagen ist. Okay, and here, we, here you have a, a symbol of the last day, six plagues followed by the seventh plague, just in type, right? Und hier haben wir auch diesen letzten Test, also die sechs Plagen und den, die, die siebte Plage, also das ist um, alles ein Typus. Okay, in Vers 22. Matthäus 24, Vers 22. And then it says, Except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. That's now here, right? Shortened, because this is where you get delivered. Und das eben hier, wo diese Verkürzung dann stattfindet. Weil hier wirst du ja befreit. Right? I, I, I'm just keeping this simple because we know that in here there's another fractal on it, but we're not getting into that. I'm just using the pattern to show it's on a simple basis, right? Und, um, ja, ich möchte das einfach halten, denn wir wissen ja, hier gibt es zwar noch ein kleineres Fraktal, aber, um, ja, wir halten das jetzt einfach, einfach, sie haben noch ein Fraktal. I'm just showing that the principles are taking the seven last plagues and using the pattern that's illustrated here, right? I'm just using the, I'm just taking the seven last plagues and using it as a pattern, right? Also, ich nehme einfach die sieben letzten Plagen und benutze sie eben als ein Muster. This is not the seven last plagues that's pouring out here. This is the Sunday law crisis, but this, the, what the Lord is using is using these different waymarks to show different points in the Sunday law crisis that would be prefiguring the seven last plagues, right? Und das ist ja noch nicht, wo die sieben letzten Plagen ausgegossen werden, sondern das ist einfach eine Sonntagsgesetzkrise. Aber das ist eben einfach wie ein Muster und der Herr hat eben diese Wegmarken und diese Ereignisse, die was eben die sieben letzten Plagen vorausschatten. So, Abomination of Desolation, Great Tribulation, Time Cut Short, right? Also hier haben wir das Gräuel der Verwüstung, dann eben diese große Trübsal und dann die Zeit, die was verkürzt wird. Okay, so, now... The, the next, next verse, verse 23. Verse 22. Now, I had this, myself and Brother Lawrence had a discussion about this yesterday. And I want to suggest that in verse 23 it says, Then, if any man shall say unto you, Lo, is Christ, here is Christ. Uh, sorry, Lo, here is Christ, or there, believe it not. <coughs> it's not referring to here. And I and Brother Lawrence, we have auch gestern Abend noch darüber geredet. Und ich würde eben vorschlagen, dass Vers 23 sich nicht auf das hier eben bezieht. Okay, uh, uh, what I want to show, and the Bible has to explain itself, right? Und was ich eben zeigen möchte, und die Bibel muss sich ja selber erklären. Is that the, fall, the, the last uh, temptation, a deception, the temptation against God's people, comes in this time period, right? Ich möchte eben vorschlagen, dass diese letzte ja, Versuchung eben in dieser Zeit hier kommt. So, we as humans, when we read things, we try to read it in a way that we would understand it. But the Bible is written in a way that the Bible has to explain itself, right? Und wenn wir eben ja Gottes Wort lesen, dann lesen wir das eben so, wie wir das eben ja, verstehen. 
Aber die Bibel muss sich ja selbst erklären. Okay, so um, I, I, I want to show you now that this point here is referring to the, 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 this, this time period in here, this final test. Und ich möchte eben zeigen, dass dieser Punkt sich hier, diese Zeit eben hier bezieht. So, let's just read it, verse 23 down to verse 28. Also, wir lesen Vers 23 bis Vers 28. It says, Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, or there believe it not, for there shall arise false Christs and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, insomuch that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Behold, I have told you before, wherefore, if they shall say unto you, Behold, he is in the desert, Go not forth, behold, he is in the secret chambers, believe it not. For as the lightning cometh out of the east, and shineth even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For wheresoever the carcass is, there, there will the eagles be gathered. Now, I'm just going to give you logic first, then I'll give you the proofs, right? Und ich gebe euch zuerst eben die Logik, und dann gebe ich euch die Beweise. When you come to the seventh plague, he says, it is finished, right? Wenn man jetzt zur siebten Plage kommt, dann sagt er, es ist getan. So, the, the, when, when you go to the seventh plague and read it, as soon as he says it's finished, what happens? Und wenn man das eben liest von diesen sieben letzten Tagen, sobald er das eben sagt, also es ist getan, was passiert dann? Sorry? No, I'm talking about what, what, what happens right there, at the, at the, when, the, how do you know you've reached the seventh plague? Also, wie weißt du, dass du eben die siebte Plage bereits erreicht hast? There's a great earthquake, right? So, da ist ein großes Erdbeben. And what delivers them? Und was befreit sie? Okay, so, and when that voice speaks, he says it is finished, and what happens? Also, die Stimme Gottes, und wenn die eben spricht, es ist beendet, was passiert dann? No, 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 just go in the order of things. What happens first? Also, was passiert zuerst? Yes, the, the skies part like a, like a scroll, right? Also, diese Himmel oder diese Wolken, sie öffnen sich eben oder teilen sich. And what does the Lord show them? Und was zeigt ihnen der Herr? The law. Ja, yeah, he, he, the Ark of the Covenant is shown and every single human being on the whole earth is looking at, because God is showing them what they have done and it's too late for them, right? Also diese Bundeslade oder dieses Gesetz, das wird ihnen eben gezeigt und alle Menschen schauen eben darauf und sie erkennen eben, um, ja, eventuell, dass sie etwas falsch gemacht haben. He, he proves to them now who they've been fighting against and here's his law and they've got no excuse, right? Also er beweist ihnen jetzt, dass sie eben gegen ihn gekämpft haben. Sie sehen eben das Gesetz und all diese Dinge. Okay, so a huge earthquake takes place and the, the two groups are resurrected right there. Also da findet dieses große Erdbeben statt und die zwei Gruppen, sie werden auferweckt. And then if you just keep reading, it talks about how all the cities start getting decimated. Right? Und dann spricht es eben davon, wie all diese Städte Decimated. Destroyed. Ah, wie sie eben zerstört werden. Okay, so can you just go through that. It's not really conducent now that a false Christ arises and tries to deceive God's people, right? They they are being smashed into oblivion for for everything that they've done, right? Also, es wäre dann eben nicht sehr logisch, dass dann noch zu dieser Zeit ein falscher Christus eben <coughs> okay, so when you come down to verse 29, right? it now takes you to the, the, this point. Also das bringt dich dann zu diesem Punkt hier. So I just want to suggest that the verses from, um, from verse 23 to 28 are prior to verse 29. Also möchte ich vorschlagen, dass Vers 23 bis 28 eben vor diesem eben sind. Because it says immediately after the, the what? The tribulation, right? Which is here. The, here, right? Also sofort nach dieser Trübsal. Also das ist hier, also die Trübsal. Yeah, this is the great tribulation, right? 
Das ist ja diese große Trübsal. Und dann sagt es, immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give a light, the stars shall fall from heaven, the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. This is the shaking of the heavens and the earth, right? Also das wäre dann nach dieser Trübsal und das auch diese Erschütterung der Himmel und der Erde. <coughs> Right? Seventh plague, the heavens and the earth are shaken. Right? Also, dass die siebte Plage und Himmel und Erde werden erschüttert. Run sisters, are we look lethargic this morning? Are, are we studying these things? Because you really need to know the sequence of events in our minds. Right? Und, um, Brüder und Schwestern, wir müssen eben diese Dinge ja studieren und wir müssen ja diese Sequenz all dieser Dinge verstehen. Okay, because it says, verse 30, Vers 30, then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. What's the sign? Was ist dieses Zeichen? They see the Christ coming on the cloud, right? Also sie sehen Christus kommen auf dieser Wolke. Then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he shall send his angels with the great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together as a light from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. So this is all the events that are taking place in this time period, right? Das sind dann all diese Ereignisse, die dann eben stattfinden in dieser Zeit hier. Okay, so let's go to this quote from Great Controversy. Und wir gehen jetzt auch zum ersten Zitat vom Which is Kampf. dealing with the time of trouble, right? Und das handelt eben mit dieser, also um diese Zeit der Trübsal. And the time of trouble is the, is this great tribulation, right? Und diese Zeit der Trübsal ist auch diese große Trübsal. Okay, so. So, and this time of trouble here is the seven last plagues. It's, it's taken out of the chapter in Great Controversy that's dealing with the seven last plagues. Und diese große Trübsal eben hier, es handelt eben auch um diese sieben letzten Plagen. Und das ist aus diesem Kapitel, aus dem großen Kampf entnommen so we're just taking it right and we're going to take the the principles from it and just place it upon here right because the same principles are applied in the Sunday law crisis right because they're typifying the seven last plagues right and the same principles they can even in the Sonntagsgesetzkrise angewendet werden denn sie typifizieren ja die sieben letzten Plagen. Okay, first paragraph. Erste Paragraph. It says, the Apostle John in vision heard a loud voice in heaven exclaiming, Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you having great wrath. What's he having? Also was hat der Teufel? Great wrath, right? This is when Satan is now bringing the seven last plagues, right? Also das ist, wenn Satan nun die sieben letzten Plagen bringt. He's the destroying angel and he's loosed now to, to bring about these calamities. Also er ist ja der zerstörerische Engel und er ist nun losgelöst, um diese Katastrophen zu bringen. Because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Fearful are the scenes which call forth this exclamation from the heavenly voice. The wrath of Satan increases as his time grows short, and his work of deceit and destruction. What work does he do? Also welches Werk tut er? Deceit and destruction. Deceit and destruction, in that order, right? Also das Werk von dieser und das auch in Will reach its culmination in the time of trouble. So his work of deceit and destruction will reach its culmination in the time of trouble, right? Also sein Werk der Täuschung und der Zerstörung findet eben seinen Höhepunkt in der Zeit der Trübsal. So, let's go to Revelation 12 and verse 10. Und jetzt gehen wir auch zu Offenbarung 12 und Vers 10. And this is, um, this is marking the close of probation. Same point in time as just marking the beginning of the time of trouble. Und das markiert eben den Schluss der Gnadenzeit, also das ist auch derselbe Zeitpunkt eben so wie der Anfang. It says, and I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God 
and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, <coughs> which accused them before our God day and night. Now, he's accusing you in the Sunday law crisis, right? Also er klagt dich an in der Sonntagsgesetzkrise. But when you get to the end of the Sunday law crisis, the Lord says, it is done, it is finished, and the seven last plagues pour out, right? Aber wenn du dann zum Ende der um, Sonntagsgesetzkrise kommst, dann sagt eben der Herr, also es ist beendet, es ist vollbracht, und dann werden die sieben letzten Plagen ausgegossen. And verse 11. In Vers 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto death. So the Sunday law crisis is finished, right? Everybody's now gone through their, their test, and you're either sealed or you're not sealed, right? Also die Sonntagsgesetzkrise, sie ist beendet, und jeder ist durch seinen Test gegangen, und du bist eben entweder versiegelt oder nicht. Therefore, verse 12. Vers 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them, woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth he hath but a short time. Right? So we're at the beginning of the seven last plagues. Also wir sind am Anfang des sieben letzten Plagen. And when the dragon saw that he was cast into the earth, he persecuted the woman which brought forth the man -child. So this would be this tribulation now that he brings upon the 144,000. Right? Also Vers 13, das wäre dann diese Trübsal, die er eben bringt über die 144.000. And to the woman, the 144.000, were given two wings of a great eagle, that she might fly into the wilderness, into a place where she's nourished for a time, times, and half a time from the face of the serpent. Right? Vers 14. So they're being protected now in this time of tribulation. Also diese 144.000, sie werden nun beschützt in dieser Zeit der Trübsal. And it's all been prefigured here, right? Und das alles ist eben hier <coughs> okay. So, um, go back to Great Controversy, next paragraph. Beginn es auch zurück zu dem Zitat vom Großen Kampf. Wir lesen den um, zweiten Paragraph. It says, Fearful sights of a supernatural character will soon be revealed in the heavens in token of the power of miracle working demons. The spirits of devils will go forth to the kings of the earth and to the whole world to fasten them in deception. What are they going to do? Also, was werden sie tun? They're going to do a work of what? Deception. Deception. <coughs> We said that Satan's final work of deception and destruction comes in the time of the seven plagues, right? We have ja gelesen, dass Satan sein letztes Werk der Täuschung und der Zerstörung in den sieben letzten Plagen kommt. So, the spirits of devils going forth the kings of the earth, where is that referred to in the Bible? Also, diese Geister der Teufel, die hingehen zu den Königen der Erde, so wo sehen wir das auch in der Bibel? At the sixth plague, right? Zur sechsten Plage. So it's prior to this point here, right? Also es ist vor diesem Punkt hier. Right? Okay, so let's read on, right? Lass uns weiter lesen. The spirits of devils will go forth to the kings of the earth and the whole world to fasten them in deception and urge them on to unite with Satan in his last struggle against the government of heaven. So Satan is trying to deceive everybody to go and destroy God's people, right? Also Satan versucht dann jeden zu verführen, um eben hinzugehen, um Gottes Volk zu zerstören. So it's a work of deception, followed by a work of destruction, right? Also es ist ein Werk der Täuschung, gefolgt von Zerstörung. By these agencies, rulers and subjects will be alike deceived. Persons will arise pretending to be Christ himself. So when will these persons arise pretending to be Christ? Also wann werden diese Menschen aufstehen und eben beanspruchen, dass sie Christus sind? When the spirits of devils go forth to the kings of the earth, right? Wenn eben diese Teufel also hingehen zu diesen Königen der Erde. Persons will arise pretending to be Christ himself and claiming the title and worship which belong to the world's redeemer. They will perform wonderful miracles of healing and will profess to have revelations from heaven contradicting the testimony of the scriptures. As the crowning act in the great drama of what? Deception, 
Satan himself will personate Christ. The church has long professed to look to the Saviour's advent as the consummation of our hopes. Now, she's got other quotes where she says, When Satan hears them crying for deliverance, this is when Satan does this work, right? Und das ist halt auch ein anderes Zitat, wo sie eben sagt, dass wenn Satan sie eben hört, wie sie rufen um Befreiung, dann macht er eben dieses Werk. So if they're crying for deliverance, what's not come yet? Also sie bitten eben um diese Befreiung und was ist bis jetzt noch nicht gekommen? Deliverance, right? So, diese Befreiung. Okay, so, it says, uh, Now the great deceiver will make it appear that Christ has come. In different parts of the earth, Satan will manifest himself among men as a majestic being of dazzling brightness, resembling the description of the Son of God given by John in the Revelation. The glory that surrounds him is unsurpassed by anything that mortal eyes have yet beheld. The shout of triumph rings out in the air. Christ has come! Christ has come! The people prostrate themselves in adoration before him while he lifts up his hands and pronounces a blessing upon them. As Christ blessed his disciples when he was upon the earth, his voice is soft and subdued, yet full of melody. In gentle, compassionate tones, he presents some of the same gracious, heavenly truths which the Savior uttered. He heals the diseases of the people, and then, in his assumed character of Christ, he claims to have changed the Sabbath to Sunday, and commands all... To hallow the day which he is blessed. Now who's he, who's this false Christ speaking to? Also zu wem spricht dieser falsche Christus? The nations, right? Zu den Nationen. This is the, the, the spirits of devils like frogs going forth to all the nations to gather them together, right? Also das sind so wie diese Geister um, der Teufel, die eben wie Frösche sind, die eben vorgehen zu diesen ganzen Nationen, um sie eben zu sammeln. And it says... Um, He declares that those who persist in keeping the holy seventh day are blaspheming his name by refusing to listen to his angels sent to them with light and truth. This is the strong, almost overmastering delusion. Like the Samaritans who were deceived by Simon Magus, the multitudes from the least to the greatest give heed to these sorceries saying, this is the great power of God. Now, where's the power of God marked? On our line. Also, wo ist die Kraft Gottes auf unserer Linie markiert? At the baptism, right? Also, zu Taufe hier. Okay, so when a prophet is raised up, he's filled with the Holy Spirit, it's now the sign, right? Also, hier wird ein Prophet aufgerichtet, er wird gefüllt mit dem Heiligen Geist und das ist das Zeichen. Now, I just want to remind you of this point. Go to John chapter 3. Und ich möchte euch da an einen Punkt erinnern und lasst uns zu Johannes 3 gehen. Because this, this is our final test. Denn das ist eben unser finaler Test. Verses 1 and 2. Vers 1 und 2. Johannes 3, Vers 1 und 2. This is a very, very important point. Das ist hier ein sehr wichtiger Punkt. It says, There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, or Teacher, right? Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher, right? And this is when the teachers are raised up, right? Das ist ja auch der Zeitpunkt, wo diese Lehrer aufgerichtet werden. We know that thou art a teacher come from God, for no man can do these what? Miracles that thou doest, except God be with him. And God with him is Emmanuel, right? Und Gott mit ihm ist der Emmanuel. It, it's the birth, it's where you're filled with the Holy Spirit. Right? Which is the great power of God, right? Right? Because when Christ came, whoever received him, he gave them power to become the sons of God, right? Okay, so... When you come to this point, Satan is going to try to get them to believe that Christ has already come, right? Wenn du eben zu diesem Punkt kommst, dann will eben Satan dich überzeugen wollen, dass Christus bereits gekommen ist. <coughs> one second, one. But 
Christ is already there, right? In this, in the, in one sense. Aber Christus ist ja bereits hier in einem Sinne. How is he there already? <coughs> right, in the 144,000, right? Also in den 144.000. Or, or in the Sunday law crisis, in those, in these people that they're persecuting, who are filled with the Holy Spirit, right? Oder in der Sonntagsgesetzkrise sind es eben diese Menschen, die was eben verfolgt werden und die was den Heiligen Geist haben. Right? So they were to um, what was the point I was going to make there? Um, Antichrist. There's many Antichrists. What do Antichrist deny? Und es gibt ja dann viele Antichristen und was leugnet Antichrist? It comes in the flesh first, right? So th this this coming here. Christ is not coming in the flesh anymore. He's coming in a glorified body and he's not going to come on the earth, right? Also Christus hier kommt ja nicht mehr im Fleisch, sondern in diesem verherrlichten Körper und er kommt nicht mehr auf die Erde. When his feet are not going to touch this earth, that's the point. Also seine Füße werden die Erde nicht mehr berühren. Okay. So it's like this is the first coming followed by the second coming all wrapped into one little experience, right? Also das ist wie dieses Erste kommen, gefolgt von diesem zweiten kommen und das ist eben alles so wie zusammengepackt in dieser kleinen Erfahrung. Okay, next paragraph. Nächster Paragraph. It says, but the people of God will not be misled. The teachings of this false Christ are not in accordance with the scriptures. So what are they still doing at this point? Also was tun sie noch einmal zu diesem Punkt? The, the, it's like when, when Satan came to Christ in the wilderness as an angel of light, what did Christ do? Und als Satan ja zu Christus kam in der Wüste als ein Engel des Lichts, was hat er getan? He said it is written, right? Also Christus hat gesagt, es they're, steht geschrieben. They are doing the same thing, right? Und sie tun hier genau dasselbe. His blessing is pronounced upon the worshippers of the beast and his image. That's the, the nations, right? The threefold union. Und hier spricht es dann von dieser dreifältigen Union. Also die Nationen. Okay. His blessing is pronounced upon the worshippers of the beast in his image, this, the very class upon whom the Bible declares that God's unmingled wrath shall be poured out. Right? And they're going to get it poured out on them at the seventh plague. Right? Und dieser Zorn Gottes, der soll eben ausgegossen werden. Und das wird eben ausgegossen zu den sieben letzten Plagen. And furthermore, in der siebten Plage. In der siebten Plage. And furthermore, Satan is not permitted to counterfeit the manner of Christ's advent. The Savior has warned his people against deception upon this point, and has clearly foretold the manner of his second coming. So second coming's not come yet, right? Which is at the seventh plague. Also sein zweites Kommen hat eben noch nicht stattgefunden, das er zur siebten Plage. And here you go. It says, there shall arise false Christ and false prophets and shall show Great signs and wonders, insomuch that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Right? <coughs> Matthew 24 and verse uh, 23. Matthew 24 and verse 24. Wherefore, if they shall say to you, Behold, he's in the desert, go not forth, behold, he's in the secret chambers, believe it not. For as the lightning cometh out of the east and shineth even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. This coming, there is no possibility of counterfeiting. It will be universally known. Right? So when, when Christ says it is finished, everybody in the whole world, eyes will be riveted upon that voice and also upon the skies opening and the law is going to be shown them. You just go read what happens, right? Wenn eben Christus dann sagen wird, es ist beendet, dann alle Augen dieser Erde, sie werden eben auf ihn gerichtet sein und eben ja, auf dieses Gesetz, wo eben diese Himmel geöffnet werden. So, this right here, right? Is the last deception, right? Also das hier ist dann diese letzte Verführung. And we just go quickly back. You wanted to make a point, Lord, sorry. I mean, when you go, for instance, also to, <coughs> to the story of Job, yes. the, you had you know, the three friends coming, which was the second part of the test. Yes. And zum Beispiel in der Geschichte von Hiob, da haben wir die drei Freunde, die kommen, und 
ist das second part. Genau, the second part of just when you come face to face with death. Also das ist der zweite Teil um, des Testes, wo man dann angesichts also dem Tod, Tod ins Auge gucken muss. Yeah, because Job's marks first of all marks the Sunday law, then it marks the three friends come in, and then at near the end of this you have a life who comes in. Und hier haben wir zuerst Hiob und dann kommen eben diese drei Freunde und dann Elihu. No, 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 near the end, not, not in this seventh place. Also dann fast zum Ende, dann kommt eben Elihu. So Elihu was basically this crowning act of deception when Satan appears just before the voice of God comes and delivers. E yes. So also Elihu wäre dann eben dieser krönende Akt der Verführung, der eben stattfindet, bevor eben Christus dann kommt. Yes, just before the... Voice of God comes in delivers Job. Also bevor eben diese Stimme Gottes kommt und Christus äh, äh, Job befreit. Und Job befreit. Okay, so when you when you read go through that again, it says many false Christ shall arise, right? Und wenn man das eben liest, dann sagt es ja viele falsche Christus werden den So aufstehen. many false Christ shall arise. This would be Job's three friends. So diese vielen falsche Christus, die eben aufstehen, das wären Job's drei Freunde. But then It says, that then it says that the um, the crowning act, which would be the last act, right, is Satan himself personates <coughs> Christ. Right? Und diese krönende Tat ist dann eben Satan, der eben Christus personifiziert. Okay, it's all taken place in this time period before he says it is finished. Und das findet eben alles in dieser Zeit hier statt, bevor eben Christus sagt, es ist beendet. Okay, so. Uh, I just want to, to confirm this point and just go to this next quote from 7 Bible Commentary 976. And we gehen jetzt zum nächsten Zitat vom 5. Bible Commentary. <coughs> no, 7 Bible Commentary. 7 Bible Commentary. Uh, you found a quote there? Uh, you got a minute. I didn't post it. Okay. I'm sure I posted it, but maybe not. I see you only five minutes. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, I've, I've I've just missed the. It's it's there, but the reference at the end is not there. Ah, okay, also das ist dieses Zitat. Oh, I've missed the reference. Versuchung und Verfolgung werden alle treffen. Zwischen großer Kampf und fünf Zitat. Ah, there it is. Okay, I'm sure I posted it. But anyway. Okay, it says, this is 7 Bible Commentary 976, just for reference. It says, trial and persecution will come to all who in obedience to the word of God refuse to worship this false Sabbath. Force is the last resort of every false religion. What is it? The last resort. <coughs> At first, it tries attraction. As the king of Babylon tried the power of music and outward show, if these attractions invented by men, inspired by Satan, failed to make men worship the image, the hungry flames of the furnace were ready to consume them. So it will be now. And this is what you see in the time period of the plagues, right? He goes to all the kings of the earth and he's using all this power and display and all these sort of things to, to force the conscience of people that he is right. right? Und das sehen wir eben auch, wenn er zu diesen Königen der Erde geht, dann nutzt er eben all diese Macht, <coughs> ja, dieses, um sie zur Schau stellen, eben, um ihren Verstand eben herzukriegen. So he uses deception first and then it's going to lead to persecution. Right? Also er benutzt zuerst diese Verführung und dann führt das eben zur Verfolgung. So go back to great controversy. Und jetzt zurück zum großen Kampf. Be the fifth paragraph, uh, no, sixth paragraph. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, sixth paragraph. It says only those. Also, um, 626 Paragraph 1, also nur die, welche eifrig in der Bibel beforscht. Yes. Only those who have been diligent students of the scriptures and who have received the love of the truth will be shielded from the powerful delusions that takes the world captive. Now, brothers and sisters, you need to get this point in your heads and burn it in there, right? 
this, this test that's talking about taking place in the seven last plagues will be prefigured right here by these false prophets and we'll talk about it more in a minute. Und dieser Test, der eben stattfindet in den sieben letzten Plagen, es wird eben vorausgeschattet auch in dieser Zeit, wo eben diese falschen Propheten aufkommen. Und wir werden darüber noch gleich reden. Okay, and it says, only those who have been diligent students of the scriptures and who have received the love of the truth will be shielded from the powerful delusion that takes the world captive. You need to read that often, right? Also wir müssen das um, öfter lesen. It says, by the Bible testimony, these will detect the deceiver in his disguise. To all, the testing time will come. What time will come? Also welche Zeit wird kommen? Testing time, right? Also diese Zeit des Testes. By the sifting of temptation. So this is the tempter when he came to Christ, right? Also das jetzt diese... Verführer, der kommt zu Christus. By the sifting of temptation, the genuine Christian will be revealed. When are you revealing your character? Und wann offenbarst du deinen Charakter? Crisis. <coughs> Crisis. Crisis, right? In dieser Krise hier. <coughs> are the people of God now so firmly established upon his word that they would not yield to the evidence of their senses right can't trust by what you see man kann ja nicht dem vertrauen, dass man sieht. now remember nicodemus said to christ we know that you're from god because no man can do these miracles except he be sent from god right and uh, we have ja gelesen that nicodemus to christus gesagt hat we wissen dass du eben von gott bist oder dieser lehrer bist weil niemand kann diese wunder machen sei denn man ist gesendet satan von gott. is going to counterfeit these miracles right aber Satan wird eben genau diese Wunder verfälschen. So, what are they clinging to? The miracles? No, they're clinging to the Bible, right? Also, die Waren, sie halten sich eben nicht an diese Wunder, sondern an die Bibel. Would they in such a crisis cling to the Bible and the Bible only? Satan will, if possible, prevent them from obtaining a preparation to stand in that day. He will so arrange affairs as to hedge up their way, entangle them, with earthly treasures, cause them to carry a heavy, wearisome burden, that their hearts may be overcharged with the cares of this life, and the day of trial may come upon them as a thief. So what's right in front of us? Also was ist genau vor uns? The day of trial. Dieser Tag der Prüfzeit. And brothers and sisters, do we have many cares and burdens at the moment? Also dieser Tag der Prüfung. And, um, Geschwister, haben wir auch momentan viele ja, Sorgen und Hürden. Yes, right? Ja. Yeah. So, we are to be both a Mary and a Martha, right? Und wir müssen ja eine Maria und eine Martha sein. I'm not saying that we can't take care of our burdens, but if your burdens are overburdening you, that you're not making the preparation, <coughs> then you're preparing yourself to fail, right? Und ich sage jetzt nicht, dass wir... Um, ja, uns nicht um unsere Bürden auch kümmern können, aber wenn eben diese Bürden dich dann völlig eben einnehmen, dann kannst du dich eben nicht mehr ja, kümmern um auch Gottes Wort und Sache. Yeah, okay, you added a lot of your own words, but that's fine. It says, uh, it says here, next paragraph, right? Nächster Paragraph. As the decree issued by the various rulers of Christendom against commandment keepers shall withdraw the protection of government and abandon them to those who desire the destruction, the people of God will flee from the cities and villages and associate together in companies, dwelling in the most desolate and solitary places. Men, many will find a refuge in the strongholds of the mountains, like the Christians of the Piedmont Valleys. They will make the high places of the earth their sanctuaries and will thank God for the munition of the rocks. But many of all nations of all classes, high and low, rich and poor, black and white, will be cast into the most unjust and cruel bondage. The beloved of God, God passed weary days bound in chains, shut in by prison bars, sentenced to be slain. Right? 
Some apparently left to die of starvation in dark and loathsome dungeons. No human ear is open to hear their moans. No human hand is ready to lend them help. And when John was in the dungeon, what was his experience? When John the Baptist was in... Ah, okay. Und als Johannes, also der Täufer, in diesem Kerker war, was war seine Erfahrung? Yes, yeah, Satan was tempting him to doubt, right? Also Satan hat ihn ja verführt, dass er eben um, anfängt zu zweifeln. Dass er eben zweifeln sollte. It says, will the Lord forget his people in this trying hour? It's the hour of temptation, right? Das eben diese Stunde der Verführung. Did he forget faithful Noah when judgments were visited upon the anti-believing world? Did he forget Lot when the fire came down from heaven to consume the cities of the plain? Did he forget Joseph surrounded by idolaters in Egypt? Did he forget Elijah when the oath of Jezebel threatened him with the fate of the prophets of Baal? Did he forget Jeremiah in the dark and dismal pit of his prison house? Did he forget the three worthies in the fiery furnace? He's linking all these things together, this experience, right? Or Daniel in the den of lions. Zion said, The Lord hath forsaken me, and my Lord hath forgotten me. Can a woman forget her sucking child, that she should not have compassion on the son of her womb? Yea, they may forget, yet will I not forget thee. Behold, I have graven thee upon the palms of my hands. The Lord of hosts has said, He that touches you, toucheth you, toucheth the apple of his eye. So in the seven plagues, they go forward to deceive all the nations, and then the nations, they all agree that they are now going to murder God's people. Right? Diese Zeit der sieben letzten Plagen gehen ja um, sie eben vorwärts, also diese Geister der Teufel, um eben die Nationen zu verführen, und die Nationen, sie kommen dann alle eben überein, und es wenn das Volk zu verfolgen. They now all go forward and as soon as they gather around God's people at this point and they're just about to bring the death blow, what does the Lord do? Und wenn sie dann eben zusammenkommen und ähm, ja, Gottes Volk umzingeln und es eben seinen Höhepunkt dann hier findet, was findet dann statt? Sie gerade ausholen, um den Todesstoß zu versetzen. Wo sie eben gerade ausholen, um den Todesstoß zu versetzen. What does he do? He says... It is done, right? So then sagt Christus, es ist beendet. Okay, he stops them right there. He doesn't let them do anything to his people, right? Also er stoppt sie genau dort. Also er erlaubt nicht, dass sie irgendetwas Gott haben. <coughs> it says, though enemies may thrust them into prison, yet dungeon walls cannot cut off the communication between their souls and Christ. One who sees their every weakness, who is acquainted with every trial, is above all earthly powers, and angels will come to them in lonely cells, bringing light and peace from heaven. This is what happened to John, right? John got the revelation, right? The prison will be as a palace, for the rich in faith dwell there, and the gloomy walls shall be lighted up with heavenly light, as when Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises at midnight in the Philippian dungeon. Because it's at midnight that the Lord comes to deliver his People. Amen. Und das ist ja auch zu Mitternacht, wo eben Gott kommt, um sein Volk zu befreien. Okay. Next quote from 5 Bible Commentary, 1087. Und jetzt gehen wir zum nächsten Zitat vom 5. Bibelkommentar. Okay. Now it's talking about these false prophets that will, if possible, deceive the very elect. Right? Und das spricht jetzt von diesen falschen Propheten, die was eben wenn es möglich ist, auch die Auserwählten verführen wollen. Okay, now I want to take this now. This is taking it into the time period of the Sunday law crisis. Right? Das bringt uns eben jetzt zu dieser Zeit der Sonntagsgesetzkrise. Those who claim modern sanctification would have come boastingly forward saying, Lord, Lord, do you not know us? Right? And when do they come forward to do that? Also wann kommen sie und sagen eben, Herr, Herr, kennst du uns nicht? When the door is shut, right? Diese Tür geschlossen wird. Have we not prophesied in thy name and in thy name cast out devils? So prior to the door shutting, what have they been doing? Also bevor sich diese Tür schließt, was haben sie getan? They've been doing miracles, casting out demons, right? Also sie haben Wunder getan und Dämonen ausgetrieben. And in thy name done many wonderful works. 
the people here described who make these pretentious claims apparently weave in Jesus into all their doings fitly represent those who claim modern sanctification, but who are at war with the law of God. Because the law of God says it's at the time appointed that you're filled with the Spirit and sent, right? Das Gesetz Gottes sagt ja, dass es zur bestimmten Zeit ist, wo du eben gefüllt wirst mit dem Heiligen Geist und gesandt wirst. It says, um, Christ calls them workers of iniquity because they are deceivers, having on the garments of righteousness to hide the deformity of their characters, the inward wickedness of their unholy heart. <laughs> Satan has come down in these last days to work with all deceivable, deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish. His satanic majesty works miracles in the sight of false prophets, in the sight of men, claiming that he is indeed Christ himself. Same point in time, right? <laughs> Satan gives his power to those who are aiding him in his deceptions. Therefore, those who claim to have the great power of God can only be discerned by the great detector, the law of Jehovah. The Lord tells us, if it were possible, they would deceive the very elect. The sheep's clothing seems so real, so genuine, that the wolf cannot be discerned only as we go to God's great moral standard and there find that they are transgressors of the law of Jehovah. Amen? Amen. Amen? It's marking the point where the tempter comes in the wilderness and tempts you these three times. Right? Also, das markiert den Punkt, wo eben dieser Versucher kommt in der Wüste auch zu Christus, um ihn dreimal zu versuchen. So, now let's go back to Matthew 24. Und jetzt gehen wir zurück zu Matthäus 24. And let's go to the Sunday law crisis. Und wir gehen zur Sonntagsgesetzkrise. Verse 9. And this is this parallel point to the to the beginning of the seven plagues when they deliver you up to death, right? Und das eben dieser parallele Punkt zu diesen Anfang der sieben letzten Plagen, wenn sie dich eben ausliefern. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall arise, and deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure unto when? The end, the same shall be saved. So it's paralleling it, right? The many false prophets are going to arise there, right? So many false prophets. And they're going to come in this sheep's clothing, Matthew chapter 7, right? Also hier haben wir diese vielen falschen Propheten und sie kommen in dieser Schafskleidung, also in Matthäus 7. But in verse 14, It talks about something that has to happen before the end comes. It says, And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a what? Witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. So, prior to the end coming here, what has to happen? Also bevor dieses Ende dann hier kommt, was muss passieren? The gospel has to go to the whole world, right? Also das Evangelium muss der ganzen Welt verkündet werden. Okay, so, internal, right? Das ist intern. Right here, it begins to go external, right? Und hier beginnt es dann eben auch extern hinzugehen. Because when I, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me, right? So, before the gospel can go forward, this event has to take place, right? So, the gospel is going forward here, around, because 
What sort of message is this right here? Was für eine Botschaft ist das hier? According to Ezra 1:1 or according to August 11:1840. Zu gemäß Ezra 1 Vers 1 oder den 11. August. It's world wide. Das ist weltweit. So you can't be talking about here if you just because the gospel has to go forward before this point comes, right? Und das kann ja nicht über diesen Zeitpunkt hier sprechen, denn das Evangelium muss ja vor diesem Punkt vorwärts gehen. Okay. And those that bring the gospel are those that have been anointed and sent and filled with the Holy Spirit, right? Und diejenigen, die eben dieses Evangelium bringen, das sind die, die eben gesalbt sind und gefüllt mit dem Heiligen Geist und gesandt sind. Right? Okay. So in our time is just same principles, but there's, there's nobody filled with the Holy Spirit. We have to go through that test first in order to have this experience, right? Und in die, unserer Zeit sind auch dieselben Prinzipien, aber es gibt niemanden, der eben gefüllt ist mit dem Heiligen Geist. Also wir müssen zuerst diese Erfahrung eben geben. Okay. The first time we're going to see that is here with John, right? When he comes out of the belly filled with the Spirit, right? Das erste Mal, wo wir das eben sehen werden es hier mit Johannes, wenn er eben aus dem Bauch herauskommt und gefüllt wird mit dem Geist. Okay, so it says, so, um, this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, then shall the end come. Okay, so the point I want to make, just go quickly to Revelation 11. Lasst uns jetzt auch unseren Bibeln zu Abendmahl 11 gehen. Because right here, when Christ was baptized, he became the anointed one, right? Und als hier ja Christus getauft wurde, wurde er der Gesalbte. Right? Richtig. And in Revelation 11, Und in Offenbarung 11, it says, There was given me a reed like unto a rod, and the angel stood, saying, Rise and measure the temple of God, and the altar of them that worship therein. This is it. Somebody's being judged, right? Also, dass jemand, der gerichtet wird. But the court which is without the temple, leave out and measure it not, for it is given unto the Gentiles and the holy city, they shall tread underfoot for in two months. And I will give power unto my two witnesses, and they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred and three score days clothed in sackcloth. These are the two olive trees and the two candlesticks, stand, candlesticks standing before the God of the earth. This is the two what? Anointed ones, right? Also, this is vier, das sind diese zwei Gesalbten. And when are they preaching? Und wann predigen sie? In the Sunday law crisis, right? In der Sonntagsgesetz. But if you go down to verse 6, wenn wir herab zu Vers 6 gehen, these have power to shut heaven, that it rain not in the days of their prophecy, and have power over waters to turn them to blood, and to smite the earth with all plagues as often as they will. So, what's new? coming down in the time of their prophecy. Also was kommt herab in der Zeit ihrer Prophetie? The plagues, right? Die Plagen. And when they shall have finished their testimony, or are finishing their testimony, the beast that ascendeth out of the bottomless pit shall make war against them. That's when they come face to face with death, right? Das eben dann, wenn sie also dem Tod ins Auge blicken müssen. So here is the Sunday law crisis, this 42 months or this 1260 that they're preaching. <coughs> also hier ist also diese Sonntagskrise, diese 1260. The two witnesses they're preaching, right? Die zwei Zeugen, sie predigen. They're preaching in sackcloth. Sie predigen in Sacktuch. And then they get brought face to face with death. Dann müssen sie eben dem Tod ins Auge blicken. Marked by the French Revolution, right? Markiert durch die französische Revolution. Right? The French Revolution was because of the papal policy, right? Und die französische Revolution, die war ja wegen dieser um, päpstlichen ja, Herrschaft. Okay, so who is it that gets delivered up here? Und wer ist es, der dann hier befreit wird? The two witnesses. Ausgeliefert. Die, was eben ausgeliefert, also wer wird hier ausgeliefert? The, the, the two witnesses, right? Die zwei Zeugen. So it's the who, who is standing before here here to be a witness, right? Und um, vor wem du dann eben auch immer stehst, du musst eben ein Zeuge sein. Because go back to Matthew 24 verse 14. Und 
zurück zu um, Matthäus 24, Vers 14. It says, this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, then shall the end come. So the, the, final, the final test is the two witnesses enduring right here, right? Also der finale Test, das ist eben das, was die zwei Zeugen eben hier ja, aushalten. Okay, so... They stand before the kings right here. Und sie stehen hier vor den Königen. Okay, and then they stand before the kings right here and, and it's, it's done. They, they give this last uh, testimony, right? And then the punishment comes upon the earth. The end comes. Und dann stehen sie eben <coughs> vor den Königen noch hier und das ist beendet. Also sie geben diese letzte Warnung. Dann kommt eben diese Bestrafung über die Erde. Because it just... We're going to close now, but just go to Acts um, chapter 1, verses 7 and 8. Wir werden auch damit abschließen und lassen uns noch zur Apostelgeschichte 1, Vers 7 bis 8 gehen. It says, And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father hath put in his own power. But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea. So when you receive the Holy Spirit here, what do you become? Also wenn du den Heiligen Geist erhältst, was wirst du dann? Witnesses, right? Ein Zeuge. And therefore, when the Sunday law begins, you're these two witnesses that are the tutors and governors for this group of people. Right? Und deswegen, wenn dann die Sonntagskrise, also Gesetz beginnt und die zwei Zeugen dann hier sind, dass diese Formen dann Verwalter sind. Okay, and you're going to be delivered up to, to death in prison here, right? Dann wirst du eben auch hier ausgeliefert zu Tod und Gefängnis. And you're going to give witness to the whole world. Und du wirst eben ein Zeugnis sein für die ganze Welt. Okay, so the reason why I'm bringing this point is one of the arguments is that in this time period we should be We should be a witness. We should be go we should be going fulfilling this before the end comes. This is one of the arguments that's made, right? And um, einer der Argumente, die ja gemacht werden, ist ja, dass wir eben das erfüllen müssen, bevor eben das Ende kommt. But according to Acts chapter one, what must you receive before you can be a witness? Aber gemäß Apostelgeschichte 1, Vers 8, was musst du erhalten, bevor du zu diesem Zeugen werden kannst? You must be filled with the Holy Spirit, right? Du musst gefüllt werden mit dem Heiligen Geist. So, it just brings you back, because we, our test is in this time period, right? Und unser Test ist ja in dieser Zeit. What do we not have? Und was haben wir nicht? No prophet. Also wir haben keine Propheten. So, there's no, in the perfect sense of these verses, there's no witnesses being delivered up. Right. Also im perfekten Sinne, also gemäß diesen Versen, es gibt keine Zeugen, die eben ausgeliefert werden. It's just a type, right? Es ist nur ein Typus. You will get, you will get delivered up, and you will have to give, uh, give testimony, but it's, it's a type that's pointing you forward to the Sunday law, right? Und du wirst schon ausgeliefert werden, du musst auch ein Zeugnis geben, aber es ist nur ein Typus für die Sonntagsgesetzkrise. Okay, so <coughs> you can't. Um, You can't now take those verses in uh, Matthew 24 and verse 14 and say that we should be doing this work prior to this final, final test because you're, you're under tutors and governors, which is the word. You're not filled with the Holy Spirit. You're not ordained to do that work yet. Right. Und man kann dann eben nicht Matthäus 24, Vers 14 nehmen, dann eben sagen, man muss ja, vor diesem Punkt eben um, schon predigen oder das Evangelium verkündigen, denn man ist ja noch nicht gefüllt mit dem Heiligen Geist und ist ja noch unter diesen Vormündern und Verwaltern. Right. I hope we can see and understand the point that I'm trying to make, right? So. Und ich hoffe, dass wir den Punkt verstehen. Because what, 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 what is actually happening here is they're taking two different works and trying to they're trying to make the work that would be done here By a people that's already gone through here, right? Und was eben gemacht wurde, ist, dass 
das Werk, was eigentlich hier geschieht, durch die Menschen, die gerade durch diese Zeit gegangen sind. Right. Mm -hmm. Das, just, just, just explain it. You know what I mean. das, ähm, es wird gesagt, dass das Werk, was hier vom Sonntagsgesetz bis zur finalen Untersuchung getan wird, dass es schon von 2014 bis zum zivilen Sonntagsgesetz gemacht werden soll. Yeah, they're, they're trying to take this work and stick it in here, right? Also, was eben gemacht wurde, ist, dass dieses Werk von hier bis hier eben hierhin platziert wurde. You, you, you can't do this work in this time period, because you're, you're still under choosing of, you're, you're still learning these things, right? Du kannst ja dieses Werk hier noch nicht in dieser Zeit machen, denn du bist ja noch immer unter diesen Formen und Verwaltern und du lernst ja noch. So you're, you're going through all the, the motions of all these things without actually being the perfect fulfillment of it, right? Also du gehst durch all diese ja, Bewegungen, diese Dinge, aber es ist eben noch nicht diese <coughs> perfekte Erfüllung. But you, you can't go to the lost sheep filled with this, because you have to be filled with the Spirit, because it says the world can only be warned by those that have had this experience, right? Du kannst ja eben noch nicht zu den verlorenen Schafen gehen, denn du hast eben noch nicht diesen Geist erhalten. Und die Welt kann ja nur gewarnt werden, wenn du eben diese Erfahrung hier hattest. Hence, the final test, which has been prefigured here, Right. Deswegen der finale Test, der hier vorausgeschaltet wird. And even prefigured prior to that point, which would be our test, right? Und sogar bereits vorausgeschaltet wird vor dieser Zeit, also das wäre unser Test. There will be people rising up, claiming to already be these anointed ones, right? Da werden eben Menschen aufstehen und beanspruchen, dass sie bereits diese Gesalbten hier sind. And that's what we are facing, and that's what we have to recognize. Und das eben was vor uns ist und was wir erkennen müssen. Okay, well, I'll have to think about it. Let's do this one. Unser himmlischer Vater, hab Dank für diese Warnungen. Dear Father in heaven, uh, we want to thank you for all the warnings that you uh, gave us. Bitte hilf uns, dass wir auch nicht ja dieselben Fehler begehen, so wie diese falschen Propheten. And please help us not to do the same mistakes as these false prophets. Hilf uns, dass wir uns nicht um, erheben von unserem Stolz. And please help us not to uh, exalt ourselves in our pride. Dass wir versuchen, in eigener Kraft voranzugehen. And by trying to go forward in our own strength. And bless us auch über diesen Tag hinweg. And please bless us throughout this day. Bitte sei mit all unseren Geschwistern, die auch momentan nicht hier sind. And please be with all our brothers and sisters who are not here at the moment. And darum möchte ich bitten in Jesu Namen. And this I want to ask in Jesus' name. Amen.